Hey everybody, welcome back for another video for the first video of the outdoor season in Toronto, Canada. So today it's, it's kind of windy on the range, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to talk about hitting a low wedge shot, okay? Let's say from 100 yards out. So, so from 100 yards out, typically most players would hit maybe a sand wedge, a gap wedge, a full sand wedge or a full gap wedge, which is very um, not ideal in any windy circumstances. So you can try putting the, the ball back in your stance with that, with that high loft that wedge, but still gonna typically balloon in the air just because you're hitting down on it so much, the spin will, it's gonna start spinning too much. And then as well, when you're hitting down on it that much, the transfer of energy from the club to the ball isn't very ideal. So you're not really gonna get the full 100 yard distance you're looking to get. So what I like to do, um, for myself and for a lot of my clients in this in this situation is grab a pitching wedge or a nine iron for me it's a pitching wedge and we're going to kind of build build the wedge system up so in previous videos you've you've, you've heard me talk about the wedge system if you haven't check it out on my on my uh, previous videos so what we do with the wedge system is we have a I have a reference we have a reference point for how big our swing is and then we we hit that swing with four different with three or four different clubs so for me, my, my reference is waist high to waist high. Um, I hit 40 yards, 60 yards, 80 yards, and 100 yards with my 58, 54, 50, and my pitching wedge, okay? So, so I know for me, if it's windy, I can come to this waist high to waist high pitching wedge. It's still, the flight's still high enough and spins enough where it's still gonna stop on the green, but I know it's not high enough and spinny enough where it's gonna get caught into the wind. So how we do it is like this. Um, I have a pitching wedge. We're still gonna have a pretty narrow stance like we do with our, t with our 40, 60, 80 yard pitch shots. Ball position is middle to back middle and you can see when it's set up to the ball, I still have that straight line from my shoulder to my hands to your club. Your, the, the feel is try to maintain this straight line the entire time and just feel like you're gonna turn waist high to waist high while you maintain a straight line. I know in reality it's not waist high to waist high. I know in reality I'm hinging a little bit but that's okay because I know if I feel these things, I'm gonna be able to replicate that shot pretty much every single time. So, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna turn through it like a normal shot, like a kind of like a full swing shot where I'm turning through it with some decent speed, but all, all I do is maintain a straight line and not hinge. So narrow stance, 50-50 weight, ball position, middle to back middle. If I can feel this shot, it should go 100 yards, a little bit of a push draw. So I've hit a pretty nice little push draw there. Wind didn't really knock it down too much. I'll hit one more for you guys. So you can see with this kind of shot, not only do we hit it very, very straight because the face doesn't deviate too much with the lack of hinging and rotating in my wrist, uh, rotating in my arms, but also because a lower lofted club would produce a little less spin, but because it's still a pitching wedge, it's still gonna give us a, de a good enough ball flight to stop a hundred yard shot relatively quickly. So I'll do it one more time for you guys. So waist high to waist high, I'm gonna feel like I do. I'm gonna do narrow stance, 50-50 weight, ball position, middle to back middle. And all we do is turn and turn. I'm gonna hit a hundred yard shot pretty decent. So so hope that helps guys. Um, try this something some of you guys practice. Pitching wedge, nine iron, whatever it may be for you guys. Um, Try it out and see what you like. So any questions, just leave in the comments below. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.